Hi everybody, I'm just going to go doing a, a clutch bleed and replace the fluid. As you can see it's looking a bit murky there, don't know when it was last changed. Um, I had a bit of an incident, um, around about June July time I was going down to share burning helmet, popular baker's meat, and uh, as I come up to the last roundabout it was very very hot day, clutch came all the way back to the bar as if uh, you'd lost fluid or there was a massive air bubble in there something. Um, but yeah, came all the way back. It struggled from there to Shearburn, which was just a couple of miles. Um, and then it just sort of cleared itself. And I wondered if the clutch fluid had boiled, as I was in a bit of traffic. But it shouldn't do. I mean, it's dot four. It shouldn't, shouldn't really uh, boil. But it did. So that, well, it's giving an excuse to, uh, to replace the fluid, because I don't know when it was done. Now, uh, there's the bleed nipple there. Can you see that? What a pain that is to get out as well. It's not, it's not easy there. Um, and I'm just using a cheap um, one-way valve, you know. Um, so what I'll do is I'll I'll just see how it goes, and I'll I'll let you know. So there they are. There we are. It took me about ten minutes. Actually, not too bad. Clutch back to normal. Cap back on. Just another look at that position for you. Can you see there's a focus? Just see where that bleed nipple is. And these um, one-way kits. They're only cheap off eBay. We've got a little arrow on there. You see the arrow? That just tells you which direction it should be uh, pointing away from the caliper. Uh, for some reason, man came with a with a thinner bit on here, so I've got this thin hose, and then I had to attach the the thicker hose to it, or the wider. I don't I don't know why that was, but it seemed to work okay. So yeah, not a not too difficult a job. Just getting at that bleed nibble. That's all. So till next time, bye.